Hey y'all, it's your girl Robin Nicole. Stay tuned for this episode of the Inspiration Specialist TV entitled Plucked Up or Planted. <laughs> episode is called plucked up our planet and i'm basically talking about how you may be in a season in your life and god may be telling you that it's time for you to go from where you've been if you are that person in the space of being plucked up i'm going to tell you some things that you're going to start to experience and you're going to know that this could be god tugging you saying it's time to shoot the deuces and go on to the next season and the next place in your life. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to be a move. This is going to be a physical, actual move from the city and state that you live in. Now, some of you, it will be within the state, but you do have to leave from where you are. Okay? So the first thing would be you're just uncomfortable. You're just naturally uncomfortable. Things that used to, you know, feel one way, they don't feel the same. Some of the things and uh, you used to do, some of the places you used to visit, your little go-to spots. Is not the same. It doesn't have the same effect on you anymore. You feel like, man, eh, I could take it or leave it. So another thing that ends up happening when God is trying to get you to go to another place, you want to stay firmly where you are. And even the thought of it, the suggestion of it, it either frightens you or it annoys you. And what I find when that happened, that has happened to me a couple times in my life. Usually I would know God was trying to push me to do something, but usually my anxiety would come in because I either didn't have the money to do it or I didn't know where I was going to go. Or maybe I had my resources, but I felt like I wouldn't have a quality, a good quality of life there. I didn't know. It's like I was thinking about all of the unknowns and it just caused me to really, really believe that that would not be a good look for me. But I still kept feeling God tugging in my spirit. Another thing is just that. You literally feel God tugging at your spirit. It's like you keep seeing the zip code, the area code. Somebody keeps mentioning it. Things just constantly keep happening to remind you or to confirm to you that you are supposed to be moving on. And even when you let God know, hey, I want to do it, it doesn't mean that everything is just going to be uh, perfect the way you thought. But I can guarantee you this, honey. When you do it God's way, it might not be all of the answers lined up in the row like you thought, but you will have a peace that will surpass all understanding. God will make strangers bless you. You'll get money in your account. He'll put gas in your car. He'll get you a car. He'll get you somewhere to stay. You just have to trust him because if he's telling you to go, then he has something for you there. Even if you don't know how long, even if you don't know why, he has something for you there. And the only way for you to access it is if you do what he's telling you to do and you go where he's telling you to go. You cannot rely on man in this season, my people who are being plucked up. You cannot rely on man and you certainly cannot rely on your flesh. You have to trust him. And so now for my planet folks. So guys, what are the number one signs that God is trying to plant you somewhere is that you have an unwielding desire, almost an obsession to move somewhere else. Yeah, like you literally don't want to be where God has your biggest blessings. Let me tell you why I know that was my life. If I would have been continuing on that same trajectory that I was on, you probably would not be getting this video right now because I would have been outside of the will of God. I had so many tempting opportunities to do this and do that and be on soil where God didn't want me to be. But it was so tempting because at one point I said, oh, well, this is happening, that's happening. And everything seemed to be lining up, but it was good looks, a bunch of good looks. Oh, that's a good look. Oh, that's great. But the God moves. When I said, no, 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 let me make sure this is you. And the God moves started happening. The, oh, man, it changes everything. And here's another thing that comes with a God move. God moves give you peace. God moves set you up in a position so that God gets the glory. It's not going to be because somebody else did a particular thing for you. It's going to be because God gets the glory. It's not even going to be because you get the glory. You know, a lot of people are held up on their miracles and blessings because they still want the attention. If you still have that thing in your heart that's about, I want people to praise me, I want to be famous, I want everybody to see me and see my talent, you're going to always stifle the process because that is a process that is self-driven, self-centered, and selfish. God cannot use you like that. And you also can't pimp God either. You can't throw God's name on stuff just to seem impressive and you're not really living like that. 
God wants us to be pure in nature. And if he's trying to make you move somewhere, it's for a reason. If he's trying to make you stay, it's for a reason. Listen, it's nothing like a God move. Let me tell you, good looks are, you know, random little happenings, how everything seems to fall into place. Those are good looks. But God moves are different. God moves come with provision. God moves come with instruction. God moves are not go with the flow. God moves say, hey, son, hey, daughter, I've called you to this place. And this is what I got for you when you stand up and do it. I'm a living witness to that. I can't speak for nobody else. But for whatever reason, God wanted this episode to be about plucked up our planet because there's somebody out there that needs to know that if God is tell you, telling you to go or if God is telling you to stay, that it's going to be okay, whichever way he tells you. For those of you who are fighting and you don't want to stay, you ready to get out, just give God your yes. Just give him your yes and just see what he has for you that you can't see. So y'all, I just want you to do one thing. I want you to see God's face. You know, y'all, the season of good looks is over. You know, you know this one, oh, is this, is that. You want God moves. You want tremendous. You want mammoth. That is my word for 2020, mammoth. You want mammoth miracles, mammoth blessings. You want gargantuan. You want to see things on a level that only God can do. Like you literally want an Ephesians 3.20 experience where it's above your thoughts. Some of you have even been praying Ephesians 3.20 and you don't even realize that is going to require you to make the move God is telling you to do. Either he's telling you to be planted or he's telling you to go. But that's where you're above all anything you could ever ask or think is. It's right there in that space. So I hope this bless you guys. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Inspiration Specialist TV exclusively on YouTube. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole. <laughs>